What's up guys, for today's video I'm going to show you very unique survival axes. Let's see what they're all about. Also you can buy separately this axe handle, but you don't even need that. So let's unbox them. Very nice packaging. First of all, we got here this design with a little clamp. Right here is a very very sharp knife, as you can see caution sharp and taped. Uh, Obviously it could be used as bottle opener, but it is a rope cutter, very sharp knife, already been sharpened, beautiful tool. Um, you can hang it onto your backpack, wherever. And obviously you have here a few wrenches and it's pretty thick, so it probably could work. So you flip this over like that, then unspin it. And if you bought separately a handle, you can put a handle into here, screw this tight. So in a way, this is a folding axe. Very sharp axe. You want to make sure it is very, very tight because it will be kind of flying around here and there. Okay? Look at that. Very sharp. I like it. So what I'm trying to do with this and build another axe handle real quick. But what I need to do is kind of split it open. It's for the axe, the axe handle. The dirt is so wet out here. But the cool part about this thing, it is easy to set up and put it in and ready to go. Let's open it and try to put it on a regular stick. You see with the regular stick, it won't work that well. You would have to have a right size stick, which is with this axe is a little bit easier. It comes with a power cord bracelet. We will untwine it and build this little axe. So you see, this is a little axe handle. It doesn't have all these weird wrenches that probably never going to use it. But I miss the rope cutter though. It doesn't have a rope cutter in here either. But you also have a knife as well, and it's a really, really sharp knife. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take off the tape because I don't wanna cut myself. That stick almost too big. You wanna have a big enough stick to where you see these edges. You see on the corners. So I'm gonna use this burst lid, untwine everything, and get enough power cord for me to build this little axe. Actually ended up finding a little bit better stick. Not a stick. Let's see if this one will work. Grab another stick and just push it all the way down. And then you can just spin it tight. And you see how these teeth are gonna go right inside of it. I don't know how well it's going to hold it because I can see that one side is not holding that much. Okay. Wow. It's actually holding quite well. That's pretty awesome. Well, it does come off a little bit. So you gotta be very careful watching out. Maybe use power cord to tie up that top end. I think this axe is best to be used with this little thing. So that way we can spin it up. It's ready to go. I guess you could cut it out the same way with a stick. But this one, you don't even have to worry about that. You just stick it to and just rub everything around. Just like that. You can even go a couple of times like this to keep all the rope together, whatever. I'm not the super expert on tying this kind of stuff, but makes sense, right? Okay, and this is what we would get with a homemade handle right here. Pretty awesome, right? Maybe get yourself a better stick or something. And let's try to chop up this really thick stick. Wow, this is sharp. And it has way more weight on it too than the other axe. I didn't tie it well enough so make sure you work on your tying skills if you tie it really really good could be very good hatchet 
and a little loft that you can just build a handle out of any log. It's untied as you can see, so yeah, probably best thing to do is tie it up way, way better. But yeah, really love the axe. Look how sharp it is. Even this log, very dry, dead log. But again, if you don't tie it properly, you'll have problem like that, like I just had. One more thing to mention, this knife is like razor sharp. Check this out, power code 550. Wow, this is insane. Look at that. This is a razor sharp knife. So this is why you want to be careful. Put it back in the holder. What about the actual ax handle? Not as sharp, which is good because you would be getting stuck. So the best thing to do is just use this side here. Barely any weight. Wow. So that way I don't cut myself. I'm going to put this thing back in a holder where it's supposed to be. Uh, and I wish there'll be a little bit more protection than just that little tape. Because this is a scary shot right here at the end. But yeah, there you go. Little hatchet right here that is easy to put it on and take it off. Oh, this one has gotten really, really tight after heating it so much. I want to take it off and take it apart because there's no tape, it's too sharp. Then you just unspin this again and then twist it, twist it. And to keep it in place, you unspin it this way again so that way it doesn't move around. So if you ask me, that's a pretty amazing tool set here. One of a kind for sure.